Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this kind of sailor nautical themed outfit for a stuffed animal. Before starting this channel, I used to make a lot of complete or themed outfits like this one, so I thought why not make one for a video? Now let's get started! So I've actually made a similar kind of outfit a few years ago for the same panda, but when I saw this anchor pattern at the store, I just had to buy it and try to reinvent this outfit. To make this, you'll need pins, scissors, your fabric, I'm using that anchor pattern and just some plain white, and I also used a little bit of fabric paint. And finally, you'll need some patterns, I'll have the ones I made in the description box below, and these are sized to fit a build bear or any similarly sized stuffed animal. And to make the hat, you'll need some white tissue paper, regular paper, and some tape. And now I just wanted to show you the stuffed animal I'm making this for. She's about the same size as a Build-A-Bear, but as you can see, her torso is much, much smaller. And her neck and body are a little bit wider, but the final outfit did still fit her and a regular Build-A-Bear. Now the first thing to do is cut out our patterns, and I'm going to do this on a cutting mat, but you can always just use scissors. For this first thicker rectangle, this is actually only half the size of what the piece should be, but I only cut out half the pattern so I wouldn't use too much paper. So if your fabric is long enough, you can just fold yours over and then cut it out so you have one longer piece. But I was going to have to connect two pieces anyway, so I'm just going to pin this down on one single layer of fabric. And I'm going to actually cut out the entire length of my fabric and then just attach a shorter piece to that. So that's what I'm doing now for this first piece. And after that, I have the thinner rectangle that I need to cut out, but you only need one of those. And this last really weird looking piece that kind of reminds me of a tooth for some reason, I just cut that out using a white fabric. But you can use whatever complementary fabric you like. I would have preferred to use navy blue if I had some. And you'll need two of these pieces. And now starting out with that longer, thick rectangle, I've already sewed the two pieces together, so now I'm going to start by hemming the sides and the bottom. So I'm going to fold over the edge of each side and just pin it in place. And then I'm going to do the same thing all along the bottom as well. And after this, I'm going to sew this all down using a straight stitch on my sewing machine. Now we can start pleating the skirt, and for this I wanted really obvious triangular pleats. So starting in the middle, I'm going to fold over one side at an angle, and this is about an inch overlapping because I want these to be very dramatic. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now you'll have this very crisp triangle, and the top will feel really thick with all those layers of fabric. And now I'm going to insert my pin through this vertically, and that way when using my sewing machine, I can sew right on top of these pins before removing them. Now I'm going to continue doing these big triangular pleats, at least one more on each side. And since these pleats use so much fabric, I'm really just going to focus on them for the front. And towards the ends of the skirt, I'm going to do smaller pleats so it will still fit my stuffed animal, and they won't be very noticeable in the back. Along the way, I'm just measuring the top of my skirt to make sure it doesn't get shorter than the length of my stuffed animal's waist. So you can just measure your stuffed animal's waist and add half an inch to that to account for the velcro, and then just aim for that to be the length of the top of your skirt. So after making all my pleats, I'm just going to measure one more time to check that it's the right length, and then I can just sew a straight stitch across the entire top to seal them in place. After that, we can set aside the skirt and focus on the top, and for this all we need to do is hem the tops and the sides. The same thing I did for the skirt. I think this time I forgot to do the sides at the same time, but it's okay, I'm just folding down the top a little bit and pinning it in place, and then I'm going to do a straight stitch at the top, and after that I ended up folding over the sides and hemming those. And this is a really simple top, so that's all we have to do. So now I can just attach this to the skirt, and I'm going to start by laying them good side to good side together, and it's a little tricky around this curve, but just line up the edges exactly. And after this, I'm just going to sew them together with a straight stitch. Now the last thing to do is add the Velcro, and I'm sorry I forgot to mention this in the materials you need, but I'm just going to put one on the good side of the fabric, and I'm putting this kind of in between the skirt and the top, and then I'm making sure to put the other one in the same spot, but on the opposite side of the fabric, so the bad side. And then I'm going to sew them down along the Velcro's perimeter. Now the main part of the dress is done, and you could stop here, but I'm taking it another step further with this kind of necktie that sailors usually wear. So I'm going to take the two oddly shaped pieces and flip them good side to good side, but you can't really tell with my fabric. And then I'm just pinning them together, and then I'm going to sew them together around the edges. And I'm going to make sure to leave a small opening in the bottom so we can turn this inside out. After that, it's time to turn this inside out, and it's a pretty weird piece, so it can be a little bit tricky but I like to push out these really long thin pieces 
with the end of a crochet hook or a paintbrush, and I'm going to make sure to get all the way to the angled points of each. After that, I'm going to tuck in the raw edges of that open part and sew it together. Now to add a little bit of color, I'm going to be painting a dark blue line around the outer edge, and this was actually way harder than I thought it would be. I really should have ironed this down so it would be flat, so it was a little shaky. It turned out fine for me, but if I were to do this over again, I would just sew around the outer edge with dark blue thread instead, and even if you're not the best at sewing straight on the sewing machine, I think it would be much easier than painting it on like I did. And after this, I ended up doing another line. So after letting it dry, this piece is done and we can set it aside. Now the last piece I'm going to make is the sailor hat. And this is pretty easy, you just need some paper and tissue paper. And I'm going to start by folding some printer paper in half. And I'm just cutting it into a 1 inch strip. And you really don't have to fold it in half like this, I just wanted to make mine a little thicker. So right now I'm just taping it together so my paper is a little bit sturdier. And I got some weird wrinkles from the tape, but that's okay, I'll just hide that on the inside. And I forgot to mention this paper is about 8 inches long. Now grabbing my tissue paper, I'm going to fold it in half also since this piece is also very thin. And then I'm going to cut it so it's half the length of our piece of paper. And now I'm just going to accordion fold it, which means I'm just going to fold up a little bit on one side, then flip it over and fold it the other way. And I'm going to continue doing that to the entire thing. And I had to trim off some extra. But then I'm just going to tape this onto our piece of paper. So I'm just taping one of the edges of the tissue paper in the middle of our paper strip. And I just needed two pieces of tape to do this. And then folding this accordion back up, I'm going to curve the paper together so the ends meet. And then just tape them together like that. And I'm just trying to get this paper into as smooth of a circle as possible. And now I'm going to take the other end of the tissue paper and put a little tape on the top of there. And then just stretch it to the other side. And this can be a little difficult, it might end up a little messy, but you really won't notice it in the end. And so now you can just kind of puff that tissue paper up, and your sailor hat is done. The last thing to do, which is optional, is just sketch a little anchor in the middle of the hat, just to bring the entire outfit together. And it definitely would have been easier to do this when the paper was flat, but I chose to do this now so I would know where the good side of the hat would be. Now I'm just going over it with a dark blue marker, and I would have preferred a finer tip, but this worked out fine. And after that, all the elements to the outfit are done, so we can finally put them together. So I'm going to start by trying on the dress. Like I said before, she's a little bigger than a Build-A-Bear, so the Velcro won't stick together completely. But it still fits great, and I'm just adjusting the skirt so you can really see those pronounced pleats. And now we can wrap the necktie around, and I'm just going to lay this down in the back, try to make it as flat as possible, and then I'm going to cross the tails in the front. And to prevent any complicated knots, I'm just grabbing this dark piece of fleece to tie around there. But you can use ribbon or string or whatever you want. And so I'm just tying a knot at the bottom and you barely see it. And after that, you can just top it off with the hat. I wouldn't say this outfit's necessarily a glow up from the last one, but I do like that it's different and a little more complicated. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time.